the saga continues. You see, I have my light hanging there, ready to go in. Well, let me show you the problem. Yes, a problem. It doesn't go in. The hole is too small. So, what I think I have to do is pull it out, put the rubber gate in first, or the rubber gasket, then push the metal bit in afterwards. What is remarkably annoying, sorry about the shadow, but I can't move the sun, is that I had bound this up nicely now. Um, so of course it won't come out, so now I've got to unbind all of this, throw it away, then see if putting in the gasket separately works. One of the concerns I have is in here is the, uh, the earth connection, the ground connection, and it's on the side. So I'm not sure if that's actually going to go in. We'll find out. We will see. Uh, I got it in. Um, the clips, these clips, are also a problem. So what I've done is I've cut off the clip because it's New Year's Day and all the shops are shut at the moment. So I've had to adapt these and that's okay. So what I got to do now is just reach in with this clip into the back, get it on the screw, <laughs> and that's easier said than done, believe me. So I gotta try and get this to push in. And I'm, I know you can't see this, but you can suffer with me anyway. Okay, and that is now biting. There we go. All right. So that's done now. I just got this one more clip to uh, to put on down at the bottom, and that uh, then I can put the bulb in, put the lens cover on. Um, but of course, when it uh, my parts arrive, uh, there's a seal, one more seal to go on here. Uh, but I'm waiting for that for SNG Barrett, and that probably won't be till midweek next week, if I'm lucky. Right, let's get on to the next project. Let me finish these. Oh, one final uh, little piece of advice you may or may not wish to note. Dielectric grease on the bulb. Helps prevent corrosion. Jeez, I'm going to need a new tube of this stuff, don't I, huh? Just put some of that around there and on the connection at the back and then stick it in and twist it. All right. Now a final piece for the moment is to hook that lens on there and push it on its bottom. Oh, this is going to be the tricky part now. <laughs> Getting that on there. <sighs> Alright. No, hang on, I can't do that. If I drop that, that's glass, it'll break. Let me get this on. Well, something I've just noticed. <laughs> and yes, I'm still struggling to get this on. But fortunately, I'm struggling to get it on. Because the screw hole here, at the bottom. Perfect. But then Made in England is upside down and so is Lucas. So this lens needs to come out, be turned and put back in. Keep an eye on those things. Uh, more on the, uh, the turn signals. Uh, you've got to get these clips out. I would recommend when you're hooking them out with whatever device you choose, you put a cloth over it and then do it because these little fuckers will fly. One flew, fortunately, I managed to find it. Now, the other thing I keep mentioning about the other ring, and this is where it goes in here. You see, there it is there. Uh, I'm waiting for new ones to arrive. These are probably brittle. Actually, that was, that was a surprisingly okay. Uh, 
What about this one? Let's have a look here. Yeah, it's beginning to crack. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to replace them as soon as the, uh, the new ones arrive. While I've got these off, obviously I'll give these another polish up just to make them look pretty. This one's got a few scuff marks on it. Hopefully they'll buff out. And then making sure um, the lenses are uh, the right way up. Oh, and a, a little trick. Um, I've mentioned it before when I was doing the, um, the reversing light. Um, I put these in the dishwasher. Yes, I know. Just don't tell your wife. Don't tell my wife either. Um, and I put them on the top shelf, not on the bottom where there's uh, excessive heat. Uh, and uh, obviously, you know, you put them that way so that it, uh, the water doesn't just fill up in here. And then they get a good old wash. Uh, as you can see, they, they came out pretty darn good. Now, you don't have to put them in the dishwasher. You can just do it under the tap. Um, and then perhaps, you know, with a... If you've got some goo, gun, goo, goo in here, you can just give it a brush out. And I also gave this edge a brush because where it rubs up against the rubber seal, it leaves some deposits. And I want it to look as nice as I can make it. All right. Now we'll move on to the next thing because I cannot go any further with this. I'm waiting for the seals to arrive. Or, 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 as my church house classic friend would say. All right. On to the next jobby. Okay, so I couldn't finish the side lights. I thought, all right, let's do the headlights. And nice new headlight made by Mr. Luckus. Comes with a rubber boot to put on the back, which is going to be an absolute pain in the ass to get on. I can see that already. I uh, got myself nice new trim rings. I don't know if I can get this off. He says, come on. Oh, forget it. I'm not going to try taking it off. Um, and obviously the new headlight support and the new ring that goes uh, over us. Plus, I've also purchased the um, headlight seal between the body and the headlight uh, dome for want of a better word and the other seal that goes on the outside here between the two rings making things nice um, this ring does actually come with a screw and a washer which uh, I'm flabbergasted but it does uh, these bowls are painted um, I'm in two minds whether to uh, take them all apart and powder coat them. Um, I don't think I will. I'm going to see how they last. Um, as the car lives in Arizona, I don't think that's going to be an issue. One thing that is an issue is this nice rubber bung here, you know, to keep the water out. And um, it doesn't stay in, does it? Look, it's just, it's pathetic. So I now need to glue that in with some glue glue. Don't know what yet. I'll have to decide on that. Maybe super glue, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, it's got nice new wires and they're correctly colored. So that's good. And as I said, the nice new ring. So there you are. I'm, I'm not sure if this is cheap Chinese crap again. I did originally get these from uh, XK's Unlimited, who are now Moss. And I'm um, sorry, I'm, I was just trying to see where it says it was manufactured. No, they, they're hiding that. Let me look here. No, it doesn't say. Uh, you can see the part number there. This is for the ring. <coughs> Whoa, bless me. Ah, oh, man, this is the part number for the headlamp assembly with the book it. Uh, again, doesn't say where it's made. Just wants to tell you uh, it can cause cancer. Uh, I guess I won't eat this. 
otherwise I might get cancer. Perhaps I better not smoke it as well. Okay, uh, well, there you are. Um, sorry to end on rather a down note again. Um, what more can I say? Get out of that garage and do some shit. I took uh, a number of things I was going to do today. There you are, the, the windscreen seal and the uh, rear window seal. I thought I'd put those in the body just so that they would get formed. Uh, they don't want to hang around in the body, so I'm going to have to put them on the glass. And that is the way, of course, they will be finally installed. Um, I went to put in these rubber bungs. The ones I've got are wrong. Ho, 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 what a surprise. I thought, well, I'll put in this piece of chrome trim. And then I looked at the quality of the one I've got, which is pretty shitty. So I've decided to buy a new one. But I don't have, oh, well, I have these two, four, six clips, but I don't have these uh, bendy clips. Well, if I do, they're in one of my boxes, which I've got to find. All right, I say to myself, well, let's get the badges on. I can't find the Mark II badge. I've got it somewhere. Don't ask me where. I haven't got a clue. All right, let's get the 3.8 and the Jaguar one on. Now oh, the 3.8 one's on there. The Jaguar one, I looked at the quality of the one I've got, which is an original. And I know all of this is nice and new. That's new. Uh, the 3.8's new. Shit, i got to buy a new Jaguar and i got the new rear lights as well, you know. So, uh, more delays. And also, I'm in two minds here. You see these are white. And they just I can just see them behind the three and the eight. And I'm debating whether I should pull that off and then just uh, touch it with some some red paint so that it doesn't stand out so much. What do you think? Leave me a comment. I mean, I don't think it looks terrible, but I can see it. So I don't know. And I've got some red paint. I do have a, a pint of paint that this car is painted in. Uh, touching it on there is going to be a little tricky, so I'd probably push them out from the inside and then paint them and then push them back in. <sighs> Maybe. All right. Another sunny day in Arizona, New Year's Day, which prevents me from going and getting screws and shit that I wanted. <coughs> uh, but, shit, you got to let some people have some time off, huh? It's only fair. All right. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you all my subscribers over the last couple of years. Uh, I, I didn't make the thousand, as I've mentioned before, but I'm, I'm getting closer. And, you know, I picked up two subscribers today, which is absolutely brilliant and welcome. You know, I'm glad you're here. Uh, get out in that garage now and do some shit. And I'm going to try and do some more shit if I don't get stopped by things not fitting. Uh, as you saw with the, the front lights, let me just take you back there. Excuse me, I'm going to remove you from my head. So they are now in, and all I'm waiting for is the seal. And then I'll be able to fit the ring with the seal, put the screw in, and say job done. Uh, waiting for some the little red indicators here so I can get those put in <coughs> and I'll put them in the right way round and that is with the long slope that way and the short edge that way that is the correct way and anybody tells you different they're wrong I have researched this many times I have many Jaguar um, friends and official Jaguar people that I know um, and they all tell me, no, this it's the long face this way with the word Lucas on it and the little short edge there so that the driver can see that little flat edge and say, oh, yes, the side light's on. Um, not very bright side lights, I must admit. All right, there you go, guys. Get out in that garage now and do some shit.